It, it's opened up like emotional strands in my brain, just like being near him and it warms my heart and it gives me like this sort of uh, electric joy in my brain. Sawyer was very, very scared. He was a scary cat. The feeling of the grass under his paws made him really um, nervous. They're both kind of scary cats, right? Yeah, well... Uh... Schizoaffective disorder is schizophrenia with bipolar. So I hear auditory hallucinations sometimes. It just got to the point where I was sort of screaming by myself in my room. I needed people or something to help me at that point. These guys really saved my life. It started with a lot of convincing to go on a catwalk to begin with. At first, I was just, just as nervous as Sawyer was. Like, he kind of had to guide me through the first bit. When Nick started walking him, I saw that his confidence was rising even more. He's happy, he's more playful, he's not afraid of anything. I think it was just um, the reassurance of Nick being there, and they just have a strange bond. I met a cat like Sawyer and walked around with him. Like it's really helped me feel, and that's a really important thing for me to do because I don't get that a lot in life. Like I really couldn't help but develop a personal connection with an animal that's so furry and cute. When he sleeps over, Nick and Sawyer sleep together. Sawyer will choose to sleep with Nick over us. <laughs> I love the way that he, he goes slow but cautious, you know, like he's a little cat in a big world, so sometimes it's sort of scary. It's tough for a guy like me, like who's so socially awkward and very withdrawn to go out there and put my foot out the door, but you know what, I'm going to do it, because if Sawyer can do it, why can't I go for it? Sawyer went out on an adventure to the mountain tops. Stood beside a lake, half frozen in its way. They scratched their kitty paws. Castle in the trees. 